to do a screening of Jose Alvarado. Now, as he lifts, so he's gonna cross, and this cross here, the lead leg can influence a better drive leg and influence a better loading pattern. So if you cross and then descend, you can essentially feel that the lead leg, as you descend into full knee extension with the lead leg, you can feel as if it's neutral. Sometimes if you stay like in knee flexion as you descend with the lead leg, it can be a little bit more aggressive. I always kind of teach that for guys that are struggling with optimally loading the drive leg is like add a cross as you lift. So then as you descend, the foot will shoot out and stay in lead leg extension. So as you see, boom. Like this to me, as the hands are, are separated, is a superior picture of what loading the drive leg looks like. So you have neutral lead leg, you have the drive leg being loaded. I don't care about quad dominant or hip hinge to be completely honest. So then you have the glove side, stable, which is gonna influence the trunk to be neutral. Hands are out and everything looks good, okay? Now, take a look at essentially how he's using the slope as he descends from his leg lift, right? If we looked at the belt line and where he started at the peak of his leg lift, we can see that he's gonna be continuously sinking to match the angle of the slope. This is gonna allow him to maximize his acceleration down the slope, maximize his energy as he plants into his lead foot, right? And this is where you create all that, that separation. And if you really just look at it, like the simplicity of why guys throw 100 is basically the amount of retraction their elbow is at full anchor point. Now, obviously, that's way easier said than done, but there's things that I'm, I'm referring to here that I think are a direct influence to that. So you can see how the loading of the drive leg is, is superior. His posture and his alignment are very, very good, and the transferring of energy. So you load up the drive leg, so now the storing of that, right, we can see that in this picture, storing of that drive leg until it becomes time to transfer this energy. And that only can happen effectively if the arm action mechanics, the hand is in unison with that. So I call it retract and rotate. As this retracts, this bad boy is gonna rotate. So then what you create, see this, see this move? The hips are rotating, elbows retracting. Watch this. And to me, that's a byproduct of lead leg being neutral, storing up, loading, uh, sorry, loading the drive leg as optimally as possible, which is then gonna influence the transferring of that as optimally as possible. And then boom, you anchor down and you have all of this energy that's available for you as you then complete rotation, pulls the trunk through, pulls the arm through. The head's pulling and that's not, that's not linear, right? Like the camera angle's a little bit off. So his head's pulling what you would see as more of a misdirection, but it's only because he has to make, he has to clear way for his arm slot. But it's not done until the arm's coming through because you still have to segment those rotations. The lower half has to initiate rotation first, upper half has to stay neutral. And then as you anchor down, you release all of this energy buildup and then boom, trunk's gonna tilt, clear way for the arm, arm's gonna free flow into that slot and it's gonna decelerate all the way through this right here, plane of rotation. And you can see in the open side, I know that scoreboard's in the way, but plants in a little bit of knee flexion, pelvis rotates over the femur, boom. Good lead leg block. Left-handed pitcher for the Phillies throws a zillion miles an hour. I'm saying all this like it's freaking easy. It's not. Hey guys, thanks for watching that video. Robbie Rowe here. If you are interested in learning more about pitch mechanics, I put together an ebook. I'll provide a link right here for you to click to check it out. Everything I know about pitch mechanics, I put it down on an electronic book. Hashtag 2023. <laughs>